you know, a lot of people be asking me about Mubu Crump and what's the reason he ended up losing his life. And I'm not going to lie, I thought a lot of y'all already knew this shit here, but I know that I'm a street reporter. I've been documenting the culture for a while, and you guys wanted to hear it from my mouth. I'm not going to lie, it's a touchy situation because me and Crump was cool. We talked a lot of times in the DM. He had a lot of conversations on the phone. I was actually supposed to interview him a week before he ended up losing his life. And I'm cool with his cousin, Bam Duwap. We done did several interviews. So I don't want to say shit to be disrespectful. But at the same time, the fans asking me for this, so I got to do it. In my opinion, Crump ended up losing his life because he was too popular. And what I mean by that is, you know, got to remember, he was once cool with OTF. So he know all the BDs. Uh, he cool with the GDs. He know all the GDs from FBG to 051 Young Money, people in Jaro City. Remember, he was this in Chino, uh, Newski, Vonnie, and any motherfucker who was close to Dirk because him and Dirk had a relationship back in the day. I guess he ended up getting tainted and shit like that. He go the problem, though. Remember when Crump went live with Bezu? That shit went viral all around the internet and shit like that. So the world got to see that this op shit is real in Chicago, even though they been knew it, but that video started some shit, because we all seen that video, it seemed, it was crazy, they was going hard on each other, saying, man, look, a motherfucker broke your jaw, you got a wild, we seen this shit, right, here go the problem, Crump became too popular, which means everybody knew him, people knew where he lived at, he still had friends in Chicago who was friends with the ops, you get what I'm saying, the back door open, you gotta pick a side when you in the Chicago shit, I don't give a fuck what you say, if you're in that shit, you got to pick a side. He knew too many people. And some of the people he knew knew the ops. So when he goes to a house party, whether it's in his community or a party he shouldn't have been at, it was easy for something like that to happen because soon somebody spotted him, they gave one of them niggas that call, like, bro, he up here. And the nigga came up there and did that shit. This is the reason why Chief Keith distanced himself from everyone and only kept the people that he liked. King Von made it to the top, so he was able to see Chief Keith, and they was able to work on a mixtape. If King Von never would have got hot and made it to the top, he probably never would have seen Sosa again, unless he's being cool with Dirk, and Chief Keith don't really trust Dirk because Dirk homies tried to rob him a little while ago. Um, that's the reason Keith don't fuck around. The back door is open like a motherfucker. Uh, Crump didn't lose his life in a fight. He didn't lose his life because he was taken up for someone. He lost his life because the enemy spotted him at a party and came and he didn't know what the fuck was going on. That's the reason why homie not here no more. I think he was a dope artist. He had the hardest freestyle on the Zach TV ever. Y'all need to go back and check that shit out, man. He had a hard freestyle. I thought he was a dope rapper. I'm not going to lie, though. I did kind of think that he was involved too much in the exposing shit too, too hard where he forced the enemies to have to do something to him, you know? Um, it's a crazy situation. I'm going to touch on this Crump situation a little bit more because I want to speak on this. And I also want to speak on Melly, too, because a lot of people have been asking me about that. I kind of did a short blog on it, but I'm going to do a bigger blog on it. But you got to hit the subscribe button right now. I want you to start what you're doing. Hit the subscribe button so you can be one of the first people to get that blog. Because I'm going to be doing like three, four, five blogs a day uh, to try to inform the people on the culture. Because there's a lot of people out here telling you shit from what they think. Ain't too many people telling you shit to actually talk to these artists. Actually got these words from the artist's mouth. You know, so I feel like I got a duty to show you guys the research I've been doing for the last eight years. So I appreciate the love. I want y'all to follow me on Instagram too at We Are The Truth Tellers because I be posting a lot of shit on my Instagram that I don't post here. It's the homie Truth. Be that.